Okay. Hi, everyone. I am Kami from the Mama Diaries.com. Um, Jack, my first question is going to be for you. So, first of all, I just want to say that this series is so incredible, you know, for me on a personal level, because I use a wheelchair and, you know, I have for my entire life. So, however, back when I was a child, um, many, many years ago, it was super rare to see a character on the TV, you know, using a wheelchair. Um, and if they did, it wasn't usually in a positive way or, you know, you were made that you should feel sorry for the character. And, you know, that's something that I hated as a child. So for me to see the character of Ari and team, and team Zanko go and everything that he represents, you know, it makes me so happy that kids today can have that positive representation on screen. Um, so I'd love to know what was the inspiration behind creating these characters? Well, uh, I have to say, I came on board the project a little late and the characters already existed. So I don't know exactly uh, where they came from. But I do know that with his character, we decided early on, we weren't going to ever mention the chair. It just wasn't relevant to the character. Mm -hmm. uh, unless it, we said we would mention it if it was like important to the plot somehow. And it never really was because we never really thought of him as anything other than just another character. And he had capabilities. And, but, but there is a challenge, right? Because you want to try to portray it accurately, but at the same time, it's a cartoon. Like mm -hmm. Nakai's character, Naya, jumped farther than a kid could. So, you know, we exaggerate with, with some of the stunts that he could do with it. But when, when we were, when he does things like when he's in the skate park, we actually went and would watch videos of uh, wheel, people in wheelchairs and skate parks. And we would, the artists would actually mimic the moves so we were, it was important to us to be authentic, but also fun and just make the point. He's just another kid on the team, right? It just, it doesn't matter. That's so great. It was portrayed perfectly. Oh, thank you. That, that means a lot. Okay. So my next question is going to be for both Nakai and Hartley. Um, I'd love to know what made you guys want to be part of Team Zinko Go? Hartley, go first. Um, so immediately, um, so when I was sent the audition and I read Ari's character description, I just fell in love with him um, and our, our similarities and our differences. Um, and I, um, I really, I, when I saw him for the first time, I knew, I knew that I wanted to play him. Um, and yeah. I think I, I wanted to join, um, I wanted to join because I can relate to Naya so much because sometimes we can both be a little sassy where we can like just throw facts at people, even if they're not ready for it. And we'll be super smart in moments or sometimes we'll just be extremely adorable. Okay, Jack, we're gonna go back to you. So <laughs> Ponzo, Ponzu, the flying squirrel, um, he's super fun and a great sidekick. Can you just talk a little bit about his character? Well, uh, yeah, Ponzu, whose name changed like five times, could find the right name for him. And finally, Ponzu popped up late in the process. Ponzu, uh, you know, this is a feel-good show, right, for little kids. But every once in a while, you want a character who just can be a jerk. And that's what Ponzu was sometimes. Like in the early episodes, he's very critical of how the kids do, and he's very defiant. And they make him go on a couple of missions and he's like, oh, I'm sort of lazy. So it gave us this character, this sort of foil for uh, Auntie Yuki, their leader to have, who sort of was a naysayer and was sort of lazy. All the things we don't want the kids to be, right? We could throw onto the squirrel. But when push came to shove, the squirrel would always come through for you. So Ponzu was great. Uh, the actress who did Ponzu was phenomenal. Uh, she also played uh, the triplets in the show, Fauna, Donna, Lana, Rana, changed to Rana, right? Uh, excellent voice actress. And uh, so it was a really fun character. And it was really fun for the animators, right? Because they got to make the squirrel do crazy things and smack into walls, very Looney Tunes sort of things. So. Okay, Nakai and Hartley, back to you guys. Um, and we're going to bring Ponzu the squirrel, the Ponzu the squirrel back in. So if you guys had your own like animal sidekick, what type of animal would it be? I would definitely do an eagle or a hamster 
Eagle, because they have sharp eyes, they can see from miles away. And hamster, because they can sneak into like really small spaces. Um, I have kind of a random one. I think it'd be kind of funny if I had a little goose um, just wearing some boots and a hat um, just to follow me around. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why. Just I think it'd be really cool to have a little little goose friend. Those are all great and super creative. I love it. Oh, <laughs>